In this question, a cone has the top section removed, and the question is asking for the volume that's left over in that cone, i.e. this volume here. Now we know that the volume of a cone is given by one third pi times r squared times the height where r is the radius of the base of the cone and h is the height of the cone. Now I could find the total volume of the original cone. So the original cone would be one third times by pi. Now this would have a radius not of 30 but of 15. So 15 squared and this cone had a height before it was chopped off of 40 centimetres. So if we work this out we have one third times pi times 15 squared times 40, which is 3,000 pi. So I'll leave it currently in terms of pi. Now then, this cone then had the top part chopped off, but the part chopped off was a half of the original height. So let's look at the chopped off cone. And let's mark it very carefully. It's still a third, it's still pi. However, because this was the top half chopped off, rather than having a radius of 15, it will have half the radius. So 15 divided by 2 is 7.5. And its height was 20. So if I now work out that, it's still a third, that's what it always is for a cone, times by pi, times by 7.5 squared this time, times by 20 for its height, and that's 375 pi. So to find the remaining volume, the frustrum will be the total volume of the original cone minus the bit that was chopped off. So, we want this as a decimal to free SF, 3000 pi, take away 375 pi, is 2625 pi, press the button there, to free SF, so 824, after the 4 is a 6, so 825, 8250, so 8250 centimetres cubed for a volume. And there we go. We found the volume of the frustrum, which is a large cone with a smaller cone chopped off the top.